Audrey has been working with the isotope Neptunium-239 as part of a private research team. It was first synthesized in 1940 and has a half-life of 2.36 days. After nine half-lives, the percentage of the isotope still remaining is most nearly A, 0.2, B, 0.02, C, 0.002, or D, 0.0002. Pause the video and give yourself five minutes to complete the problem. Have you finished solving the problem? Let's see if you got the correct answer. Here are some brief facts regarding half-lives. The term half-life is defined as the time it takes for one half of the atoms of a radioactive material to disintegrate. Half-lives for various radioisotopes can range from a few microseconds to billions of years. The half-lives of certain types of radioisotopes are very useful to know. They allow us to determine the ages of very old artifacts. Scientists can use the half-life of carbon-14 to determine the approximate age of organic objects that are less than 40,000 years old. By determining how much of the carbon-14 has transmutated, scientists can calculate and estimate the age of a substance. This technique is known as carbon dating. Isotopes with longer half-lives, such as uranium-238, can be used to date even older objects. To figure out how much material is left after a specific number of half-lives, use this handy equation which states that the amount remaining is equal to 1 over 2 raised to the power of the quantity of half-lives that have occurred. We plug in our information into this equation and we get 0.002. Remember that we are being asked for a percentage. So we multiply by 100% and we get 0.2%, which is A. Join us for episode 28 of 52P Exam Problems.